Also tonight, Hollywood is shut down. Members of the Screen Actors Guild voted to go on strike after failing to reach a deal with major studios. Now, the strike officially begins in less than an hour from now, and actors now joining screenwriters on the picket lines. They're expected to rally outside studios in both New York and L.A. tomorrow. I cannot believe it, quite frankly. How far apart we are on so many things. How they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. This is the first time in six decades that both Hollywood unions have been on strike at the same time. CBS 2's Alicia Reed reports on the impact here in New York. The reality is settling in. And yesterday I was on set. So it was like the last day to be on set, and then now we're on strike. SAG-AFTRA is on strike, amongst other things, demanding better pay, residual payment from streaming, and assurances surrounding artificial intelligence. It's challenging. It, creative workers are in a tough spot right now with the changing models for streaming and the economic crisis and this ongoing, growing, quickly moving existential threat of artificial intelligence. Joining the Writers Guild of America that's been on strike since May, Zubin Parang says the last double strike back in 1960 led to substantial changes. Interesting, the last time both of our unions went on strike together, we uh, ended up getting uh, landmark provisions that we still use today. Our, our pension and health plans are from our previous double strike. The mayor's office says the film and television industry supports 185,000 city jobs and contributes 82 billion to the local economy. A story-based small business, Marsh Art Craft NYC, that offers catering services for TV and film will feel the brunt of this strike. Owners say the entire business will shut down at the end of the month. We have four full-time warehouse employees who have all gone on unemployment. And we also have a about 35 to maybe up, maybe up to 50 employees. They're all unemployed. With so many affected from different levels, Disney CEO Bob Iger is standing firm. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. And they are adding to a set of challenges that this business is already facing. SAG-AFTRA has been supporting WGA on the picket line for two months now. Depending on how long this dual strike lasts, that means no new content and lots of repeats for folks at home. Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.